In this video, we're going to have a look at the recent changes to the Tabloid Data Analyst exam. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. Tableau offers a range of reporting services, so you can download for free Tableau Public onto your computer and use it to create visualizations which you can then upload to Tableau Public, a public version of a cloud. For a fee, you can also download Tableau Desktop and also use Tableau Server, Tableau Online, Tableau Prep, and lots of other products. Now, one way to show your familiarity with Tableau is to have a certification. So this way you'll be able to present to your current or new employers, not only do I say I can use Tableau, but Tableau say that I can use Tableau. Now, there are two popular certifications, the Tableau Desktop Specialist and the Tableau Data Analyst. For administrators, there is also a Tableau Server Associate. Now, the Tableau Desktop Specialist is the introductory exam. So you can see the exam fee of around $100. And if we go into the exam prep guide, you see that it is for candidates who have fundamental knowledge of and skills with Tableau Desktop, typically having a minimum of three months experience. So the questions include topics such as connecting to and preparing data, exploring and analysing data, sharing insights and understanding Tableau concepts. And you can see more details as I scroll further down. Now, this exam has not been updated in quite a while. You'll see that they are currently using Tableau 2022.3, so several years old at the time of recording. The more advanced certification is Tableau Data Analyst. So if I click on that, you'll see, first of all, the exam fees a lot higher, around $250. If I click on the exam prep guide, you'll see that this exam is for candidates who have a minimum of six months experience, not just with Tableau Desktop or Tableau Public, but also Tableau Prep and Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. Now, one key difference between these two certifications is that the Desktop Specialist does not expire. The Data Analyst does expire after two years. Now, if I scroll down further, you'll see that it is now testing on 2024.2. So, given that the most recent version is 2024.3, it has been updated relatively recently. Again, we have got broad levels of topics, such as connecting to and transforming data, explore and analyse data, create content, and publish and manage content on Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud. But what are the new topics that you're required to know? Well, firstly, under Tableau Prep, we've got determine which output type to use. So this is a very minor addition, given that you've been doing lots of data transformation. It's just the final step. However, you should note that the output types are different depending on whether you're using Tableau Cloud or Tableau Online. Scrolling down under calculated fields, we've got the six types of functions that we had previously, and then basic spatial calculations. So this relates to geography. For example, what is the distance between New York and London? So you would need to have knowledge of functions such as area, which calculates the total surface area, buffer, so this gives a food in radius around a single point, for example, up to 10 miles away from New York. Distance, so this is the distance between two points. Intersection and intersects, so these look at areas and see whether it intersects and by how much. Make line, so that's a line between two points. And make point, so that creates a point based on a certain latitude and longitude. There's others such as outline, which says, give me an outline 10 miles away from New York. Now, you may notice that 2.2 .2 
is not used. That's because it has been moved to 2.9 and expanded, so this is the level of details calculations. So previously in was the fixed level of detail. But new are include, exclude and nested. So include says I want certain fields added to the context, exclude removes those fields and nested allows you to use multiple exclude, include or fixed in the one calculation. Another new topic is set parameters to dynamically refresh. Now this is a fairly small addition given that you are using parameters already in calculations, filters and reference lines. So this is an option that you can select when creating your parameter. Looking at mapping data geographically, so we've got symbol, density and field maps. So removed from this is heat maps, but added is mark layers. This is maybe more properly referenced as marks layers. So what this allows you to do is take a map and just add points of interest. So you've got your underlying map, for example, a field map. Maybe you've got the United States with the 50 states in different colors. And then I want to put on top of that locations of all of the stores. That would be a marks layer. Scrolling down, if we have a look at dashboards, then we've got an additional topic, create show and hide buttons for dashboard objects. Now this interacts quite nicely with create interactivity using set and parameter actions, which was added in the previous update in 2022. So let's say that you've got three visas and you wanted the end user to be able to change what viz they are looking at. Well, that would be interactivity using a parameter action. You would change the value of the parameter. But we can go one step further. We can have show or hide buttons so you can see all three visas at once or two or one. So you can hide individual visualizations. And then finally, under Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud, there are three new topics. Create and save custom views. So I interact with a visualization or a dashboard or a story in Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. And I want to be able to go back to that view. So I want to be able to save what I've done and then I can leave that workbook and then return to it at a later date and select the view which stores the filters, the sorting, what I've selected. Understand user roles. So we're talking roles such as viewer, explorer, explorer can publish and creator together with any administrator roles such as site administrator and server administrator. Permissions? Well, user roles have a lot of permissions, but you can also set individual permissions on individual workbooks, for example. So you might want people not to be able to resort or filter one particular workbook. And this is part of customizing and distributing a published workbook. So permissions are included in user roles, they're also included in published workbooks. And how do you distribute? So you can get the URL, the web address, and send it to somebody by email, but they might also appear in a section called shared with you. So these are the changes to the Tableau Data Analyst certification. So I think the most difficult ones are those relating to the level of detail. Now, if you'd like some guidance, as to how to learn all of this content, then please go to our website, idodata.com. If you go to reporting software and click on Tableau, then you can see that I've got a course on Tableau Data Analyst and Specialist Desktop Certification. In around 15 hours, we will go through all of the topics of the Tableau certifications. So I start from a complete beginner and we create visas, dashboards and stories. So the first part of the course is relevant to both certifications. And then when you get around two thirds through the course, then I have an article for those who are going for the specialist certification to say, only have a look at these particular videos. There are plenty of practice activities and quizzes throughout the course. 
so you can be sure that you are learning. At the end, there is a practice test for both certifications and a second practice test for the additional requirements of the Tableau Certified Data Analyst. So, if you want more information on how you can learn a Tableau, then please go to our website, idodata.com, and click on Reporting, Tableau. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please click like, and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. What topic are you most interested in learning? Why not let me know in the comments? If you want to start using Tableau, then I have a 12 minute video on this subject. Please click on it on the end screen. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching this and keep learning.